is a supermarket stakeout. What are people buying? Four chefs are given $500 each to spend on groceries. Whoa! But they won't be shopping from these supermarket shelves. Uh. They have to purchase ingredients from unsuspecting shoppers as they leave the store. Who has the chops to find the right shopper? Good luck, suckers. <laughs> with the right ingredients. Avocados! That's bold. Ooh, delicious. Good. <laughs> this is Supermarket Stakeout. <laughs> that was a sneak peek <laughs> at Food Network's competition show. You heard it, Supermarket Stakeout. <laughs> it's coming back for its third season this month, and the chefs use a little creativity to, to stretch surprise ingredients into delicious dishes, apparently right there in the parking lot. <laughs> yes, today we're going to learn how to turn one ingredient into three different recipes. Joining us now is the former high school and college classmate of Dr. Jen Ashton, who you <laughs> might also know as the host of Supermarket Stakeout and Executive Chef Alex Gornishelli. Hello, it is good to see you. Good to have you here with us. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's do a happy dance, but I have to, our secret ingredient today is squash. I, I'm not a big yes. fan. You gotta, you gotta help me with this and try to find oh, no. a way to make this good. Okay, so um, do you like sweet potatoes? Is I like sweet potatoes. Question. Yes, I'm okay with sweet okay, potatoes. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay, so cool, because this recipe actually starts with a mixture of baked squash. This is a little honey squash, a honey nut squash. Okay. Uh, actually, honey squash, you could use butternut, you could use any kind. And some baked sweet potatoes, which you cook together and mix. And then you fill your squash with a mixture of the sweet potatoes and the squash. So Ooh. it has like a, a little bit of a sweet potato vibe. And then we top that with a little bit of cranberry jam and you have them on top there with little toasted pumpkin seeds on top. Yeah. You could put sunflower seeds. So I that's like that. kind of the mothership recipe. That's like where the story of the squash sweet potato. I see you smiling a little bit. I see the squash <laughs> starting to enter into your spirit and it's your like, soul and you just I was say, trying to I hide I was trying to hide that. I didn't want to, yeah, I didn't yeah. want to be sold already on one bite. You know so then if you have some of these that are left over, right, you've got a lot of squash flesh that you can use for other things. And you could also mix more sweet potato and you just hollow out your leftover um, baked squash, right, that you have hanging out in the fridge. And then we take this puree and we turn it into first and foremost, a soup, which is super easy. Yum. Cause here we have this beautiful puree. You literally just mix it and blend it with a little bit of hot milk, a little bit of cream, a little brown butter. My mouth is watering. This is a good <laughs> breakfast. And then that, oh, wow. that leftover scooped out squash becomes your next bowl of soup. And then if you want to go in a completely different direction with that same squash puree that we scooped out that's left over, you know, I just was casually hanging around my... Uh, my place just searing <laughs> off a, a pork chop. You know, I, I don't know what anybody's doing at, at this hour of the morning, but of course chefs are searing pork chops. <laughs> and it's kind of cool if you start by searing it in a cast iron on the stove and then take that puree, that same leftover puree, mix in a little bit of grated parm or pecorino, mm. uh, a little bit of breadcrumbs, which gives that squash puree a little cheesy saltiness a little bit of a breadcrumb crunch, which is kind of nice, stiffens it up. And then you can literally put that oh, wow. right on top of the meat, like a little crust. And this way you can, you know, you can get the kids to eat their vegetables without making an actual side dish. And you see how it also makes the meat look so much more dramatic. And then we just pop this in the oven and, and cook it until the squash gets piping hot and the meat cooks through. Mm. So really, oh, that's, that's this is a key Squash keeper. three different ways, TJ. What's your favorite? Well, my mom didn't make it this way when I was a kid. I may, I, I would have eaten this yeah. as a child <laughs> if my mom put it on top of a pork chop, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> See, I she get knows it. how to get kids to eat their vegetables. <laughs> Alex, thank you so much for being with us and helping thank us you. make one vegetable work in all these different ways, so even TJ will eat it. <laughs> all right, all three recipes, by the way, will be on our Facebook page if you would like to take a look. Alex Gordon, Shelley, as always, thank you so much. And Dr. Jen says hi. And season three of Supermarket Stakeout premieres Tuesday, December 29th on the Food Network. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.